Everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am creating a paper and lace inspired flower as part of a journal spread. So in this journal spread, I was documenting the transition of flowers from my garden to a vase inside of my house. And I was just thinking about it and I thought it would be really nice to depict this journaling session with some sort of a flower and I thought well how can I create a flower inside of my journal and then I had this idea to use a combination of some book pages and some vintage lace so I decided to take a piece of coffee dyed book paper from my stash and I just drew a circle for the center of the flower and a few petals and I decided to water down some acrylic paint because I still wanted that paint to be translucent. I didn't want it to be completely opaque. I wanted to be able to see those words behind the petals and the center portion of the flower. And that's why I added the water to it. So you can see I'm actually painting over the perimeter of the sketch that I drew. And I'm doing that on purpose because I'm actually going to cut around the sketched part. I was just kind of using that as a gauge for the shape. And I knew that I was going to go inside of the petal with a gel pen or a pencil or something. So I knew that I wanted those sketch marks there. Once I finish painting these items, I'm going to just dry it with my heat gun and I'm going to cut them out. Once I get them all cut out, I pull out the page in my journal that I know I want to add the flower to. So the journaling is going to go on the back side of that tag that is part of the signature and uh, my pictures are going to go on that grid page on the left. So I'm adding the circle and the petals here and I quickly realized that I need about double the amount of petals. I want to have an odd number of petals because I just like the way that that looks balanced on the flower. And so I go back to the drawing board. I add a few more petals to this book sheet. I do some more painting, some drying, some cutting, and I am back onto my journal page. So I start to line them up. I just want to see if it's going to fit and if that's the right amount of petals. And I do believe that it is. And I'm just kind of switching the petals off because when I went back the second time, the color of the paint was a little bit lighter than the first time and that was fine I just didn't want them all bunched together I kind of wanted a little bit of variety so I was just moving them around and instead of painstakingly taking one up and gluing it I decided to clear the whole page and just randomly start gluing things down I did want to be able to see the flower when the tag was shut so I did Kind of shut the tag to make sure that the flower was peeping out correctly and now i'm just going to glue my petals down After I got all of the petals situated where I wanted them, I decided to distress them a little bit using some vintage photo distress ink. And I also 
uh, kind of wrinkled up the edges and kind of pulled some of them up because I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a distressed look and then once I finished adding the ink around the edges that's when I went over the petals with my brown gel pen once I finished doing that I decided to add a stem out of some vintage lace but that one petal was kind of in the way so I end up pulling it up and moving it over because I didn't like the way it was positioned over the lace stem. It was at this point that I decided to add the vintage lace doily to the petals because I liked the way that the flower looked. I thought that it was really cute, but I really wanted a little bit more texture. And so I thought if I added some of this material to the top of it, you'll still be able to see the petals below without covering it up too much. And so that those bottom layers are just kind of giving it a base layer while this top layer is giving it a little bit of texture. This doily that I had had a very loose stitch and then a very tight stitch and so I ended up cutting up parts of both and just uh, alternating the petals with loose tight, loose tight, loose tight all the way around the edge. Once I figured out where to put the fabric on the petals, I started to glue them down and I was thinking about what I wanted to do in the middle and there was a piece of twine to the left of my craft table and I picked it up and I kind of swirled it in the middle and I really liked the way that it looked loosely glued in there. Once I got that glued down, I did take a little bit of Distress ink and I kind of went over some of the petals and parts of the middle just to kind of tie all of those colors into each other. And that is going to wrap up this page. I hope this inspired you to make your own flowers in your journals. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.